hello guys welcome to this tutorial my name is Cell, and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to use the shexel training matrix now this tool has been designed to help users to build a database of all the employees identify their training needs and plan for those trainings by providing all the training programs that are relevant to ensure that those training needs have been met in order to improve upon their competence now the structure of the training matrix is such that it helps users to identify the training needs of each employee for them to effectively follow up to ensure that they have been closed out. Now at the end of the period, users are able to generate some insightful reports which I'm happy to share with you. Now one of them is that users are able to tell the training status of each employee. Users are also able to tell the, the percentage completion for each training program and overall they can tell the training level that have been met across board. Now as an add-on feature to this template, we've provided the frequencies for those trainings which automatically determine the next training date and then the days due for the next training. Now the days due for the next training have been conditionally formatted such that at a glance users can tell the training programs that are overdue as they show in red, the ones that are due within 30 days which will show in yellow and the ones that are actually not yet due for more than 30 days so they are going to show in green so that users can actually appreciate all the color codings if they have a large database now without wasting time let's get into the features of the tool now the approved list is where users will populate the, their list of training programs okay so users can provide up to 100 training programs right here now we've provided a, a frequency um, column right here where users can select the frequency for those training programs. So the ones that do not have frequencies, something like HSC induction, for them you can simply leave them as blank and they're going to show on the matrix. Now for the ones that require renewal, you can set the renewal right here. Now the renewal populates in the form of a drop down and the drop down is actually coming from here. So this way users can actually review the frequencies or simply add on. Now on the matrix, you realize that you can build database for up to 400 employees and you can also plan for training for up to 100 training programs. So we've created all these columns or sections that users can continue to populate data for up to 100 training programs according to the approved list so we have 100 training programs and then 100 um, programs also can be set on the matrix now we have the dashboard right here now this dashboard helps you to visualize how you are progressing with training as you can see um, on the employee training status we have all of them achieving 100 percent so this is where you can actually visualize the percentage the training program or the training status of each employee you can also tell the percentage of employees that have been trained and the percentage of employees that have not been trained and you can actually filter by each employee by using the slicer right here or you can actually filter by department to tell the number of employees that have been trained and what their training status are now as you build your database for up to 400 workforce Obviously, the slicer is going to populate too many data here or too much data here. So what you need to do is that you can simply use the funnel right here to clear filter, which will actually select the entire database. Now, over here, we have the training program status, and this is where you can tell the percentage completion for each training program. And you can tell the percentage of um, training programs that have been completed across board. And the percentage of training programs that are, are still outstanding and you can actually select from the slicer over here now over here we have the total employees that are on the matrix we have the total training me um, training topics that we've identified and we have the total number of trainings that have been planned for each employee and we also have the trainings that have been completed by each employee over here we can tell the percentage of training that will be completed for all so on the matrix you can see all of them is 100 because we've actually closed all the training needs for each employee so as you can see we have all of them as completed that is why it's showing 100 on the matrix now 
over here that is the training program status and this is where you can tell the uh, it's actually coming from the dashboard but for the purpose of sending us reports we've also created this sheet right here so that users can simply copy the training program status as um, reports to their top management to tell them how they are progressing with each training program or they can simply use them as input for their annual HS performance report. We also have the employee training status where they can tell the, um, the training status of each employee. So this also can serve as input for an annual HS performance report or they can equally be sending a support to their top, top management. So without wasting time, we'll look at how to use this template. Now to use this template, obviously, we would make sure that our list of training programs are all correct and the frequencies are all correct. And once we are done with that, we we'll also continue to populate our database for all our employees. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just keep these people right here and I'll just continue to rather delete the training programs that have been identified and closed for each employee. So without wasting time, let's just do that real quick. Okay, so now that we are done deleting our data, what we need to do next is get rid of our employees. Okay, so now we get we head over to the dashboard and then we click on refresh all. And then you realize that all the reports on the dashboard automatically vanish. Okay, so all the reports within the workbook also vanish. Now for the purpose of the tutorial, I did mention I would have to leave these guys in here so that we can be able to work very fast with it now you would have to select the training program from the drop down over here and once you select the drop down automatically to tell you the next renewal um, and the, the frequency for renewal now we can simply change the frequency for re renewal to let's see quarterly and it is gonna show on the matrix as quarterly now over here if we believe that defensive driving is relevant for all these workers would simply indicate by one in every cell to actually show that training is desired for all these workers now if training has been closed or done then you also have to indicate by entering one and as you can see a lot of things are updating the, the training status for each employee is updating the percentage completion for the training itself is also updating now assuming we took out two people it's gonna tell us 78 persons have completed the training 22 remain outstanding it's also gonna tell us that overall 78 percent have completed the training now that is based on an average of all the training programs currently we have just one so it's just gonna be similar to this now let's just um, provide the next the date of training over here we provide the date of training and assuming we did the training on the first of january then it's gonna show as such so we just copy this throughout for the other guys we train them on the on the same day so that it's gonna show us um, expected so after inputting our data what we need to do next is just go to the dashboard and then click on refresh all and as you can see we have the training uh, matrix updating and we have employee training status showing and the two guys that we took out is showing as zero now over here defensive driver you can see 78 percent it tells us that for defensive driving, 78% have completed, 22% is outstanding, and um, the same applies to this. And over here, you can tell that employees, um, nine people on the matrix, one training topic, training was planned for nine people, and 
nine act seven actually have completed and this is the percentage that remains now over here actually will be populating based on average because it's going to take into account all the training topics so over here it will all be based on average now for any reason if we change the the frequency of the training to monthly you realize that on the training matrix it is going to show as overdue so this is how it actually shows in terms of color code and that will actually help you to you know improve upon all the training needs of employees by just ensuring that all the trainings have been renewed for all of them so this is actually based on perfect case scenario if you want to see how um real data will look then this is how it's gonna look so there's a template and uh, one of the users whom we've worked on his work we actually and provided all the columns for him for the next renewal so as you can see everything is now showing majority is showing red which clearly tells that i mean he has to renew the training certificate or do refresher training for all these guys so this is how exciting it is to use um, the training matrix and we have um, all the reports just showing automatically everything is populated automatically and this is simply a plug and play template so if this is something that you are interested in then you are more than welcome to click on the link below for, for me to see you on the other side